Here the magician has one of magic's most popular impromptu tricks. All he needs to baffle his audience this time is a length of rope, which he proves to be strong and unprepared, and some scissors. They'll make their appearance in a minute. He gathers the rope to find the exact center, then makes a loop and holds it in his hand. Time for the scissors. Told you they were part of this trick. Using the scissors, the magician cuts through the center of the rope. Eventually. There's no camera trick involved. That's definitely a cut piece of rope. He twists the cut ends, gives them a wave, and magically the rope is back in one piece. The tricky mass man has done it again. So how did the magician cut the rope in two right before our eyes, and then restore it to one solid piece? The simple answer is, he didn't really cut the rope at all. Here are the secrets. Concealed in the magician's hand at the start of the trick is a small piece of identical rope gathered into a loop. This is the rope that gets cut by the scissors. The magician is careful never to let this piece of rope be seen by the audience. When he places the long rope in his hand, he pulls the short loop up and above his fingertips. From this angle, you can see him pull his sleight of hand. The long rope is held by his thumb, while the short loop is visible above the top of his hand. He takes the scissors and cuts straight through the short loop. When he separates the pieces, it appears the long rope has been sliced in two. Pretty sneaky, if you ask me. All that's left to do is twist the short cut pieces out of the way and tuck them into his fist. He carefully conceals them as he slides the long rope through, and no one bothers to look in his closed fist. And that's how he creates the illusion of restoring a rope by magic. <laughs>